Can you do this for a reduced rate as well, please? That. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Oh my goodness. What a week it's been. Mm, so why don't we take things a step back and have another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. <laughs> So my lovelies, we are powering through this season. Today is episode six, and I don't know about you, but I have a completely love-hate relationship when it comes to America's Next Top Model because it holds such a nostalgic value for me in terms of like, I would race home from college to sit with my friend and watch it on Living TV whenever it aired, whenever that was, whatever time that was, I don't know, Friday nights at seven o'clock, something like that. Do you want gay sh And I remember always deeply agreeing with the judges, deeply agreeing with Janice Dickinson and Tyra Banks and Nigel Angel Parker being like, oh my god, I can't believe how awful that model thinks she is. Why isn't she doing what she's supposed to be doing? She's never going to make it in this industry. Welcome to the No Pimpia Chanel. You horrible, horrible girl. Thinking that I was a full-on fashion icon at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what does make me a fashion icon though. Today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is the UK's leading recipe box with fresh and quality ingredients delivered straight to your door. So I don't know if you can tell, but I spend a lot of time in my studio either editing or filming like some sort of little goblin. And it makes my life so much easier knowing that I always have something in the house that when I need to take a break and cook some food, I can. In your HelloFresh box, you can choose how many people are eating and the number of recipes you want per week and even what kind of recipes you like. Like for me, it's veggie and calorie smart. It does take the stress out of cooking, just knowing there's something I can already have here. I chose a bunch of recipes that both my boyfriend and I can enjoy, but today I am cooking the Sri Lankan style veggie curry and rice. Each of the recipes come with these handy little recipe cards that are numbered and also have all of the ingredients on the side. So you can match it to the numbered paper bag that came in your box. These recipe cards are extremely straightforward to follow. When I'm searching for recipes online to try and find something vegetarian and calorie smart, it is actually pretty difficult, especially when these articles always start with, as a child on the farm, I only ever dreamt of prawns. And it's a bit like, that's so lovely. Why don't you get to the recipe, sis? So I have my delicious bowl here. Let's give it a try, shall we? Get a bit of everything. Bit of rice, bit of coconut, bit of cauliflower. Oh, that's quite a big bite. Hang on. Ah! Mmm. Oh, it's got the right amount of spice and it's so savory. Mm. HelloFresh have given me an amazing discount code of 60% off your first box and another 25% off for two months using my code Luxaria60. For more details, check the description box below. That was an absolute success. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and are we ready for another scandal, girls? So one of the top comments on the last episode that we watched is by Hippie Horticulturalist and they say, poor Mercedes, it definitely feels like they're trying to glorify suffering in silence and pull yourself up by the bootstraps and get over it. You are less important than the amount of work you can do. Attitude that drives me absolutely insane. The stress is clearly making her more ill and they're like, oh yes, get those shots of her feeling miserable and try to hide it from everyone. Devil emoji. I completely agree. Absolutely agree. I'm almost a little bit perturbed as to what we might see in today's episode, but I do feel like they're going down this route of like, how Mercedes can overcome this difficulty for the point of a reality TV show show. That being said, my lovely, should we put that to the test? Should we put that to the test? It's time for episode six of cycle two of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. I can't wait to see how this turns out. <laughs> Previously on America's Next Top Model, the harsh reality of the modeling world. The harsh reality of reality TV. Joanna and Camille. I have something to say to you, I will say it to your face. Oh. While Sarah faced her father's disapproval. He considered modeling prostitution. And in the last elimination, Siamara was sent home. Siamara goes. Seven girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? Who will get gout tonight? Oh. Uh, New York girls. A nationwide search. Katie, Camille, Giovanna, Jess, Janasha. This sound is so like ingrained in my soul. If I was to hear like the first two beats, I'd be like, America's Next Top Scandal Girl. Bethany, Mercedes, Shandy, April, who will it be? <laughs> it's definitely not Tyra Bang. Who? Who's gonna be? At last judging, when it was you and Siamata up there, did you think she was going home or you were going home? <gasps> I'm not going, I wasn't going home. Wait. I Katie and Camille are doing like a... 
a, what do you call it? A talking head section together. Does this mean a budding friendship is going to happen halfway through this season? Is that the edit we're getting here? That Camille isn't actually as terrible as production are making her out to be. Is that correct? Oh. I've cracked the code, oh, girl. girl. she's got a degree. I was just chilling. I wasn't nervous. Camille, congratulations. She wasn't nervous. Camille I don't is know, she looks a little nervous. Incredibly strong woman. She has no vulnerability and shows no emotions. Happy nor sad. She's always just medium. To be honest, medium. what one did you like better? Long hair or short hair? I think what was your short hair, you can do some funky things with it. You just have to play with it. What my yes. problem is, is I'm trying to change who I am for the judges who like me. Well, that's gonna not go well, girls. So the thing is, what Camille was saying there about Katie's hair is clearly Katie was trying to get a rise out of Camille there about being like, do you prefer short hair or long hair? And the fact that Camille said, well, you can do a lot more with short hair is so correct. Like, that really is correct. I'm not really like, I sound like I'm playing favorites in this show. I, maybe I am just a little bit. Oh, no, <laughs> maybe I am. You're a mess, woman. I'm trying to be as impartial as possible, girls. But I do feel like you can do so much more with short hair. And all Katie does is like gel it and style it into this very specific way. And it's not like very punk or edgy or like alternative or fun or high fashion. It's just very like. Thank you very much. That's much better. I think it really sucks. Okay. Yes, restaurant? Salud. Wine at a restaurant? Bigger. Mine's bigger. No, mine actually goes over my stomach. <laughs> That's a belly. <laughs> my belly surpasses yours. Sorry, I, this is a very strange segment to have on this show because these women are tiny. Even the plus size girls that they have on America's Next Top Model are still tiny, tight bodied little women. So the idea that they're having this episode here to be like, after they've eaten, they're all sitting down and they're like, oh, my tummy is huge girls. This pulls into perspective. The other day I was sitting with Callum and Louie and we were talking about like, Oh, wouldn't it be nice if you could just like trim off extra bits that you don't want to see? A dead body. This is a very interesting topic to talk about because if you didn't have a little bit of like skin, excess skin when you sat down, when you stood up, your whole front would just tear. I know that's a very visceral image for your wall, but it's true because you need some elasticity. Imagine if you stood up straight. If you stand up straight and like you had no extra skin there, it would just be like... Pop goes the slat. Hello, he's pussy assessed. And that would be an entirely different show. Something maybe akin to Dr. 90210. Six pack. Gone. Six it looks pack. like I'm two pounds. Ew. Oh, but no. hang on, so they haven't food. finished eating or is okay. that? Don't say ew. What was that? We don't go ew when you're eating your hamburgers. It's a right? It's it's a a I didn't mean it in a rude way. We're just like, you know. You guys don't drink a lot. Hey, she's getting too sensitive for me. It's just like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. It was supposed to be a joke. Ooh. Imagine Katie is 18 years old. I had no idea what she was talking about there. She kind of went, ew. It's kind of a similar reaction to what I had when Camille was eating. It looked like pickles and ketchup. That's that's not for me, sis. That's not for me. X, 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 I want a sex. And I would, if I was at dinner with a friend and they were eating something like that, I would be like, are you sure? What's all this about? Do you need to talk to mummy? But is the episode this week going to be very like Katie focused? Like Katie complains too much. Katie's very difficult to work with. Katie. I sort of feel like we're only two and a half minutes in and I can feel the vibe of the episode kind of going that way. Can you let me know? My eye is weeping in solidarity with Katie. Why? Homest. Barney had a septic fight, evolutionarily perfected. If you got away, you still would die because a bite would get in. My eye is so problematic, I'm gonna cancel it. The moon! Oh. Guys, there's Tyra Man! She's full of color, but sometimes it's seen best in black and white. Ooh. You have to prepare for a black and white photo shoot. Well, yes, Joanna, great. thank you. You've got a degree. I woke up this morning, I don't know what's going on. I really like what they did with Shandy's hair. I really like this like long blonde situation. I really like it, but they described it as like platinum blonde. That is not platinum blonde. That is like beach blonde. But my mouth is like super, super swollen and it hurts. <gasps> it's just getting worse. Like it's just Oh no, is she having a tired? reaction? Like it's harder for me to talk because it's in the corners. Is it this whole area or just everything? Isolated? Camille is having fat lips. 
and she has like an allergic reaction to something, yes. she's probably feeling self-conscious. Absolutely. Because back in this day and age, large lips were not seen as a beauty thing. It was not seen as a beauty standard to achieve. It was not seen as anything. But also having an allergic reaction means that you're not going to be like up to scratch, really taking over the world, dominate that photo shoot, sis, because you're not going to feel 100%. And I feel like you never, ever, ever do your best work when you feel under the weather. But it just like, I know I have big lips, but it's just bigger. I feel it. And you're gonna see it in the pictures. You, yeah, you probably will see a bit of swelling in the photos, and they'll be like, "Why are your lips swollen? Time to die!" Good Death. Morning. Oh, Today there she is, wearing is a picnic a blanket as a what shirt. We're do our beauty shots. Beauty. Camera is right in here, and it's all about emoting with your eyes. Today's photographer is fish. Bill Heiberger, and he is Mr. a noted Burger. fashion photographer. He's even shot Tyra Banks. Oh, What's inside one pixel. And if we can capture that, then we're doing well. Now, I know Camille... Do you know, I'm always fascinated to know what kind of cameras they use in this. In certain shots, I swear I can see, like, a Hasselblad, like a digital Hasselblad, which are really expensive cameras. I remember looking back at them, I don't know when this was, this must have been, like, 2011, 2010, when I was like, maybe I'll do fashion photography, and it was, like, 22 grand, and I was like, oh, I don't think. But you had an issue because you feel like you're having an allergic reaction today. Oh. I don't know what the order is. If I could just, like... Hang out for a minute, maybe the swelling and stuff will go down, you know? We can have you go last today. That's so quite nice. That's that, that's the nicest thing we've seen so far is that Jay has made an accommodation for someone having a problem. Have you ever heard of that before? They're usually like, oh. An issue, you say? Well, you're going to go first and we're going to do macro shots of the issue and then we're going to publish the issue on the cover of British Vogue. <gasps> So that was quite an interesting spot to see there. Maybe everything isn't quite so bleak as we assume automatically. Now, what camera is that? Is that a Mamiya medium format? Some sort of digital? I don't know, it's one pixel. Technically, um, a beauty shoot is the most difficult shoot to do. If you're not confident, it'll definitely read yes. the final photograph. So I think the girls Did today you? is kind of like the biggest challenge for them. I guess this would be like skincare, cosmetations. Women. The photographer kept going like this, like when he took the picture. <laughs> kind of threw me off because I started smiling and it's not supposed to be like serious. Just interestingly, she said that really interestingly, the photographer. I've never heard someone say a photographer as like the photographer. But what an interesting little um, quirk that he has. He's like... So back in the day, in a very old life, might I say, when I was doing a little bit of fashion photography myself, if my model was really uncomfortable, like staring at me through the lens because it's like they're like a fresh model or something, I used to have my camera on a tripod and I would take the photos off to the side so it doesn't feel like you're staring at someone through a lens. And I feel like that kind of helped certain models like understand that the, the camera is nothing to be afraid of, so to speak. Like there's no reason to have nerves around a camera. Another way that was also a really good way of getting like the models used to their own poses or getting the image that you really want is to find a massive mirror and put it behind you so that the model can sort of see the way they look before they angle themselves for the photo. And that way you're kind of giving them the opportunity to exhibit their best feature whilst also you can give them feedback and it you kind of culminate in a project that works for the best. I don't ever see any of that on America's Next Time Model to You Girls, no. This is sensual. Sensual. <gasps> Your bra's falling see, off, I, madam. I want to convey something, like a tone. Especially because I need all the opportunities to convey I some kind of chin. personality that I can. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Like if they see it in a photograph, it hurt my feelings so much yesterday. <laughs> Oh, it did. Somehow the judges, like, don't like me, you oh, know? God. Lingering that morning was the comment that you had the best picture, but the judges don't like you. When you talk and how you move in your hands, so, like, this, it's not a likable, warm person that I really want to get to know better. Oh, and Tyra I know can talk. inside of you, and Plop. I want them to see that beautiful part of you. This thing just didn't particularly go well, but it, I oh, mean, she's they got didn't totally read you either. I know. You I'm know, so sensitive. I know. Like, well, oh! Oh, cream no, soda everywhere. I'll be quiet. So, oh, piss. Piss, Brigitte. Piss, piss. Oh, piss. Oh, I've completely lost my train of thought now, but in all the chaos, all the chaos girls, what were they talking about? Oh, I'm so sensitive. That's right. So there's the weird concept of like feeling sensitive. Now, 
I feel like there is something to be said for every feeling that you feel. Every emotion that you have is in some way valid until you can come to a conclusion of otherwise without letting somebody gaslight you. So if you are feeling sensitive in this situation it's the right feeling to have because you you're in a competition a b this is like the dream that you've had since you were a baby and c it's like you are up against like actual celebrities with power and authority telling you that you're not a likable person your activities aren't likable and that instantly would make you feel a bit like oh no oh no and then to question that feeling makes you feel like you might be overly sensitive. I don't know, I just feel like there's some validity into feeling sensitive in this situation. Like, I don't think it's a case of like, pull yourself up by the bootstraps, you've got this girl. I think it's a case of like, this is a highly stressful situation, it's okay to feel a little bit like, <gasps> occasionally, you know? You are, it's what they remember, you know what I mean? And they know, like you have a personality, it's not like you're a drone. I think April, she has quite a lot of personality. Her, but she's gonna ha die of a heart attack before she hits 27 because she just puts so much stress on like the little things and doesn't listen to the positive things. Okay, I mean, there's right. a thing about having an eye for detail and then being just like over My biggest fear is that I will leave this competition and be told, you know what, April, you gave us flawless photographs, but you didn't step it up a notch and bring you out. Well. Because to me, that's almost like implying that I was afraid to do that and I'm not afraid. There are lots of different types of people. I don't like this like oopsie bra. Hello, whose pussy is this? Well, with who I'm being. So I'm gonna go exactly back to my plain Jane look and be me. They can criticize me every week if they want to, but at least I'll be comfortable. You're going home, sis. My mouth is like super, super swollen and it hurts. Actually, it's not that bad. We'll, we can take it down. Sometimes, you know, as models, you know, you have to show up in whatever the conditions, you just gotta go, you know, that kind of thing. Jay told Ooh, me that I'm in front of the camera. Swollen. I have to pretend like I don't have this problem right now. Give it to me in your eyes. Give it to me in your energy. Okay. Give it to me. Right, let's go. Just a bright camera, nice and relaxed. I think that is a hassle, Blad. Any of you little fashion photographer twinks out there? Move. I'm gay. Just Ooh. always give me, you know, kind of pretty eyes. A soft expression. I heard you know what I mean? The photographer goes. Looks a little hard. Again, yeah, since um, you Mercedes it mentioned enough, it. No matter how tired you are, no matter how much pain you're in, you just have to do it. I think Camille gave it a good shot. Breast. Did Mummy's got breasts. Did Camille give 100%? I don't think so. Well, there'll be a Thank reason for that, much. Jane. I want to see that thing because I think that it did really well. I wonder what we have to do for us today because I don't want to sit off for Hey, girls. <gasps> This is Kyle Hagler, a manager over at IMG. Not a Tyra manager. I want to talk to the manager, Kyle. Tyra's with IMG. This is huge because he's going to be managing the winner. In this field that, that is winner. ever so changing, you're seeing a lot more actresses on the covers of magazines as opposed to models. The model actress, now it's social she's media like stars. a double threat because she's able to project a feeling. So today you guys are going off to an acting class. Ooh. Camille is I'm unhappy. I'm about the acting class. A lot of us have never gone on stage before. It's important that you guys all understand that the two worlds work side by side. Well, I mean, nowadays we have music, fashion, acting, TikTok, social media stardom. All these personalities are meshed together. We see so many different types of people on fashion magazines now. So it's really interesting to see them be like, you are a model, but you also must try an acting. Ha! Ah! Ah! I'm acting. Because nowadays, I guess you're just kind of expected to do a bit of everything. I feel like back in the day, we used to pay people for individual skills. And now we're like, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this? For a reduced rate as well, please. That abominations. Take it down a peg, Lux. Come on, calm down. We're seven minutes in. Love acting classes. Well, not that asymmetric. It's not that bad, actually. Let me see. I just, I just can't remember how big your lips were to be with. <laughs> Camille. It's like drama, 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 drama. Her lips were puffed up, so she needed some medicine, I guess, to bring down the swelling. I don't know. How is that drama? Out. How is that drama, Joanna? How is needing medicine to bring down swelling after an allergic reaction drama? This woman is dirty. How? Camille has not once said, I can't do it because I'm unwell. She said, can you make reasonable adjustment for me? Basically, that's it. And reasonable adjustment has been made so far, I can tell. Like, there's nothing, there's, there's, there is no real storyline here apart from she's had an allergic reaction 
reaction, but they're trying to like put other people against her to be like, oh, an allergic reaction in the modeling industry. Maybe you don't have what it takes to become America's next top scandal girls. I've got no interest in talking to you. I right. don't want to miss out on the activity for the exactly. day, but my health comes first. It does, I agree. Don't sacrifice your health for a TV show. Multiple other contestants have come Hello, forward saying everybody. they have. Hello, everybody. Camille, is she coming? Oh, oh she's swollen and like it's moving back in her. Oh, she's at the doctor. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have a very special. Production will have known that. Production should have sent her to the doctor. Production shouldn't be like asking the other contestants, like, "Oh, we have no idea what's going on with Camille. Um, why isn't she here?" What's happening? Like, they will know. Tyra will have known. They just wanted that TV moment there of being like, Tyra's got no idea. And she floats into these women's lives and goes, Bleep! and then leaves immediately. And all of them are producing gorgeous fashion photos. And that's not the case. She's yeah. a duck. Oh, okay. I have a very special person here. She's one of my very best friends. Her name is Tasha Smith Arkees. She is an amazing actress. The top models. That was an overlaid sentence there, wasn't it? It didn't sound like she was saying that, but maybe, maybe she was. Is an amazing actress. Right. The top models in the world know how to act. You need something going on on the inside in order to look in that camera and make people want you to sell their product. I've done exercises with Tasha where I'm crying Only and fans. screaming and don't know how she got that out of me. That only makes me a better model and it makes me a better actress. So, Tyra? Bye, y'all. Bye, Bye Miss Tyra. Thank you, sister. Oh. Bye, you guys. Goodbye, Tyra. And now you're all in my hands. When Tyra leaves the whole other ball game, she's like, okay, we're gonna get dirty. What makes oh. us really good actors dirty. is that this woman is dirty. We're able to this locate woman is each individual emotional thing and utilize it as a tool. So today what I want to really try to work on is being open <gasps> and Gay. being honest. I'm just gonna give you guys this piece of paper. Oh, right, so it's an acting challenge where they have to be like, and let's just talk about rejection because that's what some of you are going to have to deal with. Ooh, rejection. Not you know rejection. how it feels. How many of you have had, ever had a boyfriend that broke up with you? A daddy that left you. Imagine that is a dear John letter oh. from whoever that person is that you felt rejected you <gasps> and left you. Oh, this is going to be a Look powerful moment, it. I think. You see the emotions is coming up? It's like weird because you're looking at a blank piece of paper but it has so much on it. Emotions to me are uncontrollable. When I open myself up to them, there are tears immediately and it's like... <sighs> you sound very stressed, April. Look at it. Now I want you to rip that piece of paper up in little teeny pieces. Ooh. Rip it up, rip it up, rip it up, stop. Now all of you right now are hurting. All of you right now may be feeling anger. Hurt, pain, don't forget what you're feeling right now. Is that because you're going to have opportunities protection. to use this if you're working to try to accomplish a career as an actor. Hello. Hi, how are you? So we have a, a new person. Destroying the What's vibe immediately. Camille. Hi, Camille. I'm slowly looking at everyone's faces, realizing that people are kind of sad and crying and quiet. So I'm just like, oh my God. What is it that what's you're feeling happening? right now? Like, what's the thing that made you break down and cry? I'm here at my death. My father just has his mindset that modeling is not the job for a daughter. I need you to look at her and say to your father everything that you've wanted to say about how he's hurt you. I want See, you this is an interesting thing to watch because it's almost like we're watching like a therapy session or something, but it's an acting challenge. It's not legitimate. I mean, the emotions might be somewhat legitimate, but it's not like what we saw on The Swan, which is like televised therapy. This has an element still of like not real. Do you know what I mean? Like, although we're going to talk now about like trauma, I guess, that's happened to each of these contestants. It's done under the guise of an acting challenge. Oh, I don't know, actually. Now I've said it like that, I'm a bit like, mm, is this right? Should we be bringing up real trauma in acting challenges? Because later in later seasons, they're like, no, don't visit those dark places when we ask you to, because we're going to send you home. I'm out. Repeat everything that she says right. quietly. Quietly. Okay? Begin to talk. <laughs> I'm doing this because if you would disown me, I'm gonna be a model. You can hate me. Whatever you want, you can disown me. I don't care. It's kind of like an out-of-body experience, and I'm feeling just 
this energy around us. I don't know anyone, I don't anyone in my family, family because, because of you. Because of you. I hate you. And there were times and there were times I did not, not want to laugh because your face. face. Your face. I didn't think we were going to get this heavy the first day, but this whole lesson was to teach you to be honest and vulnerable. Wow. I'm so tired. So tired. Of being brave. Of being brave. We're, we're... <laughs> what is this montage with a guitar of, like, sobbing women? We're letting just all these, you know, emotions and our personal lives out. <laughs> This is the weirdest, I'm having the weirdest like out of body experience because this morning I actually feel, I actually felt a little bit sad this morning. I woke up feeling a little bit sad due to like recent situations that have happened in my life and also the world at large. And I'm just a bit like, oh my God, what are the chances of watching a, an episode today in which everyone is sobbing and bringing this emotion out in me? Because I'm like, ah, I also might need to sob. <laughs> And Camille's the only one that's not affected by any of this. Mom, you're my strength. Mom, you're my strength. I love you. I love you. Stop. I want you to deal with the things that are not so easy. Let's change it. Okay, Ooh. are you angry at anybody? No. no? Okay. <gasps> oh, don't pair her with you? Joanna. That's interesting. Look in her eyes. And obviously, you did something to her, too. What? So we may as well get it all out right now. Did she? You? <gasps> that's interesting. Look in her eyes. And obviously, you did something to her, too. So we may as well get it all out right now. Oh, no. An actual okay, fight. Okay, so you have to repeat her. In the house, I felt like you were tarnishing my like character. Tarnishing. It hurt because... Be I'm honest, honest, Camille. This is your opportunity yeah. to just be honest. It hurt because, because I'm in a new environment with new people, and I really like for everyone to get along. And Come I on, you're sucking right now. I was almost wishing that she would have it out with me and just say whatever she felt repressed, and that way we can just kind of patch it and get on and be adults. I just feel like you're still on the surface. Mm. There's stuff inside your heart that's going on that you just refuse to let out. I'm trying well, here, I'm trying. I just, I, I just, I do, I feel like you just want to have this perfect mask on. It has to do it's, like, like me. It's okay. But, but, but God bless you in your career. <laughs> but you're just boring. I'm sitting up there with Joanna. So I'm coming into this new situation now. Missed the first half of the acting exercise. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't really like how that went. That's a very interesting dynamic that's just happened there because for all we know, Camille has been kind of quite reserved throughout this whole competition. She hasn't been one to like burst out in emotions at all. They're trying to paint her as this like aggressive, angry black woman. And she really isn't. She's not at all. It's a horrible trope. And we can really see them trying to play it here by being like, this acting coach might have talked to production and they've gone, oh yeah, Camille, we're painting her out to be this way. So why don't you ask her? Be like, yes, bring it out. Get it out. Be angry. Shout at Joanna. There's no reason to. Joanna was just being difficult earlier in the season. Difficult, difficult, lemon, difficult. The size of a freaking watermelon. I was just like, okay. Tomorrow, you're going to have huh. a test. You are going to have to figure out this scene. Ooh. Make it real and make it effective the what way scene? you affected each other. What the scene? The one you probably wasn't affected by was Camille. I know it's a competition, and we have to do this in order to win, and so we have to get into this acting role, which is going to be very difficult. That just might be my downfall. She seems very aware, like self-aware of what's yeah, actually happening. So oh! Everybody just really emotionally drained. I didn't seem emotional. Not really. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never seen my grandmother cry. I've never seen my mother cry. I've never seen my father cry. Mm -hmm. I think you have a wall within yourself that you're not letting yourself feel. There's a reason you're not tapping into your own emotions, because you don't want to go there. So how are you going to go there with somebody else? It's just, it's not happening for you. You want to memorize? If you I want. Just Maybe she saying, just like, doesn't need to. Part over and over and over and over and over. Tasha, our acting coach, gives us a script that we have to um, learn and memorize. It says... They're lifting an arm there. They embrace and engage in a passionate kiss. So that's fun. I hope I go first so I don't have to taste any of you other hoes. Oh, there's going to be a lesbian kiss. This makes no sense. The uh, script was kind of cheesy, but I guess a lot of the acting scenes are. Why would you say that? No person would say that. You'd say, I remember your funeral like it was yesterday. You don't say, I remember the military <laughs> funeral like it was yesterday. The script seems very soap opera. Like, oh, Colin. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, I want to play Colin for some people. 
Do you love him? Seems like ten weeks in county. I don't know. I haven't even read that yet. Is it difficult for Wait, you? Wait, are they going to have a different the actor come in? I got that. I thought they were going to be like le passionate lesbian forever. kisses well, for some reason. No, evidently not. Perfectly. She's like a machine. I really understand now how we are supposed to use today to work through this script. Great. So I need to just come in through the door swinging with personality and emotion. Here, I'll practice Non-continuity with, with her friends. I'm, I'm not practicing like the lines, I'm trying to practice the emotions. And that's not Oh, bingly bong. I like, myself there, you know? I pretty much memorized it already. Really? Yeah. Even that whole spiel about, I remember in the military funeral? Mm -hmm. Oh, good gravy, I have it. Do you know, the acting challenges are some of the ones that I find the most like, cringe, should we say, in these shows? Because it's just kind of like, Oh, I don't like it. Like in the first season, we had the commercial in which everyone was just like, fresh look, passion, fresh look, dimensions, passion. And I was like, oh, it's just makes your whole body kind of go like, uh, blah, 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 blah. so I can't wait to see how this turns out. Okay, America's next top pigeon. Hi, gorgeous ladies. Hello. So today is test day. I get to pick and choose. Who's gonna win a fabulous shopping spree today? A shopping Act spree? What's this, jewelry. the eighth one? You're going to read this material with one of the stars of As the World Turns, <gasps> Mr. Mark Collier. Okay. Hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, I see. An attractive jawline has walked in. As the world when turns. Mark had walked out, you could see like this little giddy grin on Shandy's face, and she was excited to like proceed with the scene. Anything you want to say to the girls? Just react and, and be as honest in the scene as you can. The scene is about a woman named Laura whose husband was in the military. She yes. thinks he's dead. So she moves He's on dead! He comes back. <gasps> comes Actually, back to the living! I didn't believe it when they told me. Very Jesus. But it's true. I didn't believe it when they told me, but it's true. But it's true, you're alive. You know, when they told me that your plane went down in the jungle and that there were no survivors. When they gave me that flag that draped over your coffin, I put it under my pillow and I cried myself to sleep every night for six months. April's doing a great job. I believed in her eyes. She was being truthful to the situation. April might win. And I cried myself to sleep every night for six months. You, uh, your collar, Shandy your collar, Shandy. Showing an openness, I saw it in her eyes. There was this connection that she had that a lot of other people didn't have. When they told me your plane went down in the jungle. Is Shandy getting a little bit touchy no for Wally, eh? didn't shed a tear. Katie, she's showing you everything but not feeling anything, which makes it not very believable. <laughs> this is her first time and doing I, it, though. And then I met a man. I'm half-assing it. How crap can I take this seriously? I'm not feeling this guy. And he made me realize I could live again. And I cried myself to sleep for six months. Cried myself to sleep for six months. Cried myself to sleep for six scouts. Not for one, not for two, but I cried for six months. Oh, she's ad libbing. She's taken upon herself to uh, change a lot of the lines, uh, which just really shouldn't happen. You know me, Laura, the strong, the proud. One that you love and respected. I'm approaching the scene with the fact that I'm going to be me, which is unique. I didn't believe Ooh. it. Oh, no, you stick to the alive. script, sis. I focus my energy. Look at her, she's like, where? I even gave some away to charity. At the end, there's supposed to be a passionate kiss. I love you. I always have and I always oh, no. <gasps> oh, no, I need an adult. Oh, my goodness. This is the end of the scene. Passionately kiss. To me, passionate is tongue, so there you go. Oh, yes, but you're what acting. Expect? We've been stuck with 12 girls. I was. It's time for some testosterone. We have to kiss this person. Katie's like, I'm not interested. Oof. Oof. <laughs> you could have kissed him better than that. I can't. <laughs> so <laughs> what? This is about winning. You have to stay committed in the scene. If you're yeah, thinking about your boyfriend, true. only half of your heart's gonna be in this scene. Okay. I love you so much. But why did you have to leave me? Oh, not the chiffon. Why did you have to leave me, baby? Shirt. <laughs> Before.
before I say anything, Mark, I'll give you the honors to say something first. You do something for David Mammon or somebody like that, and you change their words, you won't have that job anymore, I promise you that. Wow. I don't know if you feel like you've learned something between today and yesterday. I didn't believe anything you did up there, nothing. I thought it was horrible. I thought I did well. I respect her, but she has to understand that different people are different. <sighs> Poor Camille. Ooh. She's clueless. So this is the most unlikable I think Camille has been throughout the entire season. Personally, in my opinion, you shouldn't change the script that you're given. And then obviously she didn't kiss at the end, so she just went in for a cuddle. So... I feel like she should resign herself to understanding that in this context, she hasn't met what the judges want. And Tyra is going to absolutely try and tear her a new one at judging. She absolutely, she's gonna be like, why didn't you do this? Why were you sick? Why were you swollen? Why did you give him a little cuddle like you were friends? It, I can totally see it happening. And maybe Camille can too. Maybe at this point of the competition, she was like, I've had enough. I'm just not gonna show my potential. And then I'm going home. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because I don't know, this scene, this scene, this scene, Boom! Ooh. America's next top For model! Rifles. What's this? We haven't had an advert before. Da, 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 Can we have the all lands. of our ladies come out onto the stage? Oh, please? right, okay. Did you see how important yesterday was? Yes. To really accomplish the goal of today? Yes. It was really interesting. Did you learn something? No. No. <laughs> Ah, Camille, sobbing. you were not affected. You were you not affected. affected. I say get affected. Get affected. Katie, you know how hard you worked and how hard you did. Sometimes you may give up before it's over. And if you do that, you automatically Guillotine. Lose. April and Shandy, to me, were, were you the best. You guys Ooh. were the best. The top of the line. But unfortunately, there can only be one winner. Oh, but there was a... Oh. And the winner is... April. April, go! You allowed all your she did do the best. to come out. You didn't try to hold back. The positive feedback felt really good to me because one of the problems... Now, would you look at that? Everyone's been telling her, you're sensitive, you're too emotional, you've got so much on your plate, girl, why are you being all like that? She's twisted it around and used it for her benefits on a fake stage show of a fake reality TV of a fake reality modeling show. She's turned it round, girls, and won a shopping spree. Having is letting the real me come through. The prize! What is the prize? Is a fabulous shopping spree at one of the top Jewelry stores in New York City. Jewelry. You get to pick somebody to go with. Oh, so two winners. Shandy? Katie is Katie? Old. She's she's still a teenager. And honestly, when I'm with her, I feel like I'm 18 too. So mm. I wanted to bring her with me. Are you I'm not? So how old is, get her how old is April? Jewelry, okay. Get her some bling. Today was um Death. a bad day according to Death. you know the people I'm getting critiqued by because they say that I'm kind of like unattached, like I'm not like emotional. Should I say hi to him? How come you've never cried in front of Camille? She's very emotionally detached. <laughs> I just want to see that this girl's human. Oh, Katie. <laughs> because us girls are emotional. Show me some emotion. This is... When you get criticism oh. from the judges and stuff, how do you handle that? I think of it as being positive. Like, I don't think of it... It's not always positive information. The only way for her to handle criticism is to be hard, tough, and dominate the situation. But that's just how some people like are. I it's agree. Okay, because if I want to do the acting thing, I will do the acting thing. So please vote for Camille. That's it. She's running for office. She wants that control 24-7. And she just feels like if she loses that control, she won't be able to win. Maybe. Da, da. Uh, oh, shopping in stay. trousers and heels and a boat neck top. The moon. Stern. What are you going to fit in that little Louis Vuitton bag, April? I feel April? like a little girl in a candy store who just Hideous. gets to pick what she wants. I like those earrings, that necklace. What a fabulous night from start to finish Ooh. to be able to perform on stage for the first time and then to have it topped off with this. Perform on pitch stage. Me, pitch me. It's incredible. Perform These on are stage. For me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. Have a good
Yeah, wow. No, you can take it. They got a few things and some flowers. That's quite a good little shopping spree, I guess. I don't know who Howard Stern is. I'm not sure if we have it in the UK. I actually don't really know. A lot of my jewelry pieces are like sourced by myself, obviously. And I don't, I usually have kind of a rule that's like nothing that's like, a bit bougie, do you know what I mean? I like bulky statement pieces, ooh, that are usually to do with Satan. Look at that, Baphomet. I believe this piece is by Restyle. And these are from eBay. <laughs> Tyra Mail! Tyra Mail! We'll see who will fight the best fight to be America's next top model. Be ready to leave at six in the morning. For what? She's gonna fight us. We'll get fight? Her. Are we gonna box? I don't wanna Not more tired, boxing. We'll see tomorrow, we'll find out. Beep, beep. Don't leave Janasha. What's this? Yeah, This is healthy oatmeal. Katie's yeah, face. Yeah. Disgusting. Mmm, that's good. Oh, what was that? Food aversion? The caramel mm. is pretty vague, so we just are ready for anything. Ready for it all, girls. Right, what, what, what's this? The Matrix! Today, you're doing a television commercial for Rolito's Chips. Oh, my God. Oh. You a commercial. You're privileged to work with a talented director and owner of most remarkable films, James Gay, James Most Kose. remarkable. Gay, Mr. Gay. Hi, Gay. Happy Pride Month. We are sashaying away with deals. You guys, we have a lot to do, so there's no time to be nervous. Actually, today, we're at the Daryl Roth Theater, home of the show Della Guarda. So we're gonna do something a little different. Running! Oh, the Matrix! <laughs> oh, that looks like so much fun. I'm totally up for that. We're doing that. Essentially, the idea is, you girls are in a rough-and-tumble aerial catfight, fighting to become America's next top model, but you're fighting like there's only one bag of chips left. Oh my God. I'm just focusing on... This is the weirdest concept for like crisps, basically. So in America, if you don't know, in the UK, your chips are called our crisps and our chips are like fries, basically. Fries and then you also have like different types of potato. This isn't a potato lesson. Thank you, HelloFresh. As a child on the farm, I only ever dreamt of prawns. It does seem a little bit utterly insane that... They're going to do like a Matrix style cat fight, glamour, ridiculousness. But basically it's about fries. I'd be totally up for this though. I love it. Every second of it, yes. How angry I am that I'm put in this situation again. Before we did the what suspending you shoot, I had a You can't be down. angry at people requiring you to do things. <laughs> I'm shaking. I Set me on fire, that's cool. Corner. Just don't put me up in the air. Kate, you have to shut up about this stuff because I'm afraid of heights. Oh my god, Phobia I have three is a thing, though. and I'm scared to fall on my knee. But hey, I'm not thinking about it and starting breaking out and crying. Oh, shooting film yeah, takes so much more time than shooting just a photograph. So I have actually been on a set as an extra. I was an extra on Whitechapel back in, oh my goodness me, what was it, 2010, something like that, and. Literally, I was on screen for less than three seconds, but the filming day is like 14, 15, 16 hours. They are long, grueling days that you have to be ready at any second to be like, you've got to get in front of the camera on Dolly B. And it's like, oh no, oh, here we go. Dance, dance. <laughs> Although that was my case, dancing in a gothic nightclub around this lady. So that was that was my scene for literally less than three seconds. So it does take all day. It is grueling. There's lots of like, do it again, do it again, do it again. So if you do have a fear of heights, I do feel like this might be quite a difficult thing to do. Because you're not just facing your fear once, like with the photo shoot, where you're like, you're out there, you capture your photos, you move back. This is like, you go up, you run around, blah, blah, blah. And then it'll be like, we liked that, but we need you to do it this way, or the lighting here was a bit different, and then you've got to go and do it again, and again, and again. I don't know how they would have gotten this all done with all of these girls in one day. That's a huge workload. But let's see, I guess we'll find out. I can't wait to see how this turns out. And I was thinking, oh my God, if Look Katie at that jacket. Dying, that must have been I, I just a need very to expensive do this. jacket. It's so, so frustrating. We called smoking. It's just so much pressure. Never see smoking anymore. The future is now. 
the future goes. Oh, I love it. Matrix, eat your pipe. We are doing a commercial today. Hi. This is a twofold concept. These girls have to have the ability to do lines and to do stunts. We have lots of lines do. and stunts. Oh. This is acting. That's what acting. I want. This is an important day for me because yesterday um, a comment was made towards me that I wouldn't win, you know, to be America's Next Top Model because I can't act and I'm not showing my emotions. Well, here I don't have to cry. <laughs> so um, I think that I'll do very well in this. Go, girl. You're going to be like flying puppies, girl. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She does not look pleased, does she? I, my, everyone would be a bit nervous about this, though. How are it they really going to make like this glamorous? It's just this surreal kind of world that we're in, and it's just awesome. It is! What an amazing opportunity! Usually, I am a little bit like, oh my goodness, the America's Next Top Model shoots are a bit like low-budget Model Mayhem style. This is probably maybe the most expensive and the most people needed on set four. This is like an exciting challenge. I would love to be involved in something like this. Buy new Luxaria lashes. Whoosh, the Matrix. Could you imagine? That'd be cool. April. That's perfect. April's great. She's great. great. April is really game. She's way on top of it. She stays focused I think focused April might win this one. Unless Tyra's like, you're so emotional. Uh. On um, April's face. Camille was a lot of fun to work with. She's athletic. She took direction very well. Great Amazing. Your teeth, Camille. Camille was very good. Okay, Katie. Are we ready? Camille was very good. Immediately move on. Oh. I pretty much assume I'm going to fall to my death. Which is a very scary thought. We're okay. See, We're she okay. looks so much nicer Katie when she has something nervous, like different everything. done with her hair. I really don't even have a great shot on Katie. I've got a so-so shot. She can come down. Katie is still so young and she's really emotional about things. Y'all are trying to give me a nervous breakdown. Her behavior towards everything right now, people are gonna get fed up with her. Her hair is so yellow, she needs a toner. Getting ready to do a dialogue. This yeah. is like combining oh, modeling. Look at April. Yes, those cheekbones, those lines. Oh, I didn't hear a word you said. You're so gorgeous. Modeling with acting and the kind of character that I would love to play. Oh, they're all wearing black, my favorite. Oh, I'm totally up for this. There will only be one choice for America's next top model. Oh. Very good. How weird. Yep. And three, two, one. Shoo. In the end, there'll only be one choice for America's next top oh, model. Oh, you need to be a bit more okay. intense. Um, let's break it up. In the end, there can only be one choice for America's next top scandal girls. On her diction, accent was a little bit of an issue. Accent. You gotta find like there's only one bag of Rolitos left. Yeah. I thought she was Jamaican. Where the hell did the Cuban come from? I mean, I'm more Cuban than her, honey. Oh. But I'm not even Latin. <laughs> I think I did pretty well considering someone told me that I couldn't act. You know, hey. Oh, I I sis. Well a little bit more and humble because they'll use that against story. you. For America's next top model. Katie is America's a little bit flat in her delivery. Murder. So you gotta be tough. And she was a got little bit monotone. Got to be tough. In Got the to end, have gown. There will only be one choice. Oh no, baby. For America's next top model. Oh. So you gotta be tough. Hey, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Tough superhero, not tough Bronx. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'm from Jersey. You gotta watch your back. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Great. Oh. Maybe you wanna do really well in that one. Oh, here we go. The night. Tomorrow you'll meet with the judges. 17 paragraphs. Continue. One of us is going home. Sweet, more room in the refrigerator. I have no idea who's going home. Is it Joanna? Is it Camille because of her attitude? It could be Katie because she seems like. Why would it be Joanna? Mm, I hate my hair! I know it's not April. April's got it in the bag. Right now, honestly, I think April I am might win today. I hope she does. Stuff. I also know the judges, they consider everything. The competition is tight. None of us can really Tight. be really confident like about your... being here anymore. Hello, who's pussy is this? Don't say that, Luxaria. <laughs> oh! Here we go, we're at Judging Girls. She's got gout. Hello, everybody. Hello, Tyra. Hello. So now it's I like your satin cut top. Towards determining who will become America's next top, next top model. Joanna has a very Matrix look anyway. I am Models. A photo spread in Jane magazine. Janet. And a cosmetics campaign with Sephora. Sephora right, liaise. Here's our crazy, opinionated judges. Miss Janice Dickinson. Hello. One of the first supermodels of the world. I earned it. I coined it. I own it. Bitch. And 
next we have Eric Nicholson, senior fashion editor at Jane at Magazine. Janet. We have Nigel Barker, who is oh, a Oh, it's such a shame that Boat's not involved anymore. And this week's guest judge is Mr. Kyle Hagler. Oh, who yes. Who to be one of my managers. I want to speak to the IMG manager. Files. Now, this week, you'll be evaluated on what you learned about acting as well as your black and white photo. They have such a short amount of time to actually really understand, like, the concept. So I guess maybe they're just kind of aiming for baseline, somewhat believable. Do you know what I mean? Instead of being like, oh, my God, it needs to be an Oscar-winning performance. <gasps> And then the judges will deliberate. Oh, I do like, the, I love the black on black looks. I'm loving it. So I mean, obviously. So now let's see the final edit of the commercial that you guys shot. Oh, God, are we ready? In the end. In the end. There'll only be one choice. The only choice. Oh, no, baby. Just one. For America's next top line. Oh, April. Yes. So you've Fashion. Gotta be oh. Tough. You gotta watch your back. And you gotta fight like there's just one bag of Rolitos left. Oh, don't forget, it's the crisps. No, only one choice, just one. But don't worry, there's plenty of Rolitos left to go around. That was so much better. That commercial was so much better than what they did last last season for the fresh look contact lenses. That was so much better. Although it's still a little bit like, oh, a bit cringe. It was infinitely better. I quite liked that. Like, that would be a thing. If I saw that on TV, I'd be like, oh, what's all this? Is that, is that lots of black outfits flying about the screen? Yes. Love it. <laughs> Right, now it's time for your individual evaluation. Right, come on. And I quite like Tyra's hair here. Very 2000s. We'll determine which one of you should be eliminated. Mm. We've randomly drawn names. And April, Ooh. you're first. So this Very week, good. the actress, Miss Tasha smith Arkees, is going to be administering your test. Oh. Today you're going to be tested on how well you can take direction, April. I love that everyone's I'll wearing black. Line. The line is, I've never wanted anything more than this. And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. I need you to make Death. all of them want you sexually. Who? That's your objective. Snap. Think of your man. Put your man's face. That's funny. On our faces. <laughs> oh, no. I never wanted anything more than this. And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. Ow! And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. I didn't get it. I've never wanted anything more than this. And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. Death. <gasps> it's like you're walking a runway. That's what but I was going to really, say. Like, it was like a drag Sick. queen runway in Hollywood. Ah! Oh, no. I need you to they make keep the calling her a drag queen. You have to say that line with that intended objective. I've never wanted anything more in this life. And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. You almost made me cry instead of laugh. I have never wanted anything more than this. And if I don't get it, I'm gonna die. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never wanted like anything than this. And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. It wasn't funny at all. Well, I've never wanted anything more than this. So if I don't get it, I'm gonna die. Convince me that you're funny. Just once. Oh God. Just, can, you, can I see it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why not the slut? You had a black and white photo shoot produced by Daylux Studios. Here's Put your nussy shot. away, girls. Very pretty. Beautiful. That is absolutely mm. gorgeous. You still need to work on your posture Beautiful. a little bit, though. I noticed that you got one shot. Janice Dickinson could never. Now. Alrighty, Shandy, you had a black and white photo shoot, and here is your best shot. Stunning. It's very sort of bland. Me. Bland. Kind of blank. Watch Tyra. Do the blank and then put it in the eyes. Watch her. She can do it. All right, I here's the blank. Watch this. And watch this. Give it to me, girl. Give it to Smizing. me. Smizing. Death. Hi, April. You're April. smiling today. Yeah. Valentina, your smile is beautiful. Great to see you smile. What happened this week that made you so, you know, unleash I let your it smile? out, girl. Acting. I sobbed for eight oh. hours. Oh my God. Oh! The director of the commercial said that you did a good line reading, that you're very athletic, beautiful, and composed. You had a photo shoot. Perfect. Here's your best shot. She should win. 
Oh. There's a slight androgyny, which is nice. Yeah, take down away the ponytail and she can be kind of a guy. It's yeah. kind of cool. Hot guy. And that's a great thing in modeling yeah. to be able to go that other way because it makes you so much more versatile. I, I really, I don't Mercedes? get man Mercedes? in that Mercedes? picture at all. Oh, so pretty. I, I just, I'm crazy about the fullness of your mouth, dignified length of your neck. I feel like you're looking at me and only me, which is great. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what you look like to me? You look like Layla Ali. You know, like her boxing pictures where she's like, yeah, the mean. fight's June 27th. Layla Ali. Bitch. I'm yeah. unsure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Camille, she's the director of the Win commercial, it. said that you need work with oh. your diction. Like you were putting on some type of English accent and you weren't instructed to do that. So you had a black and white photo shoot and here was your best shot. This isn't going to go well. It's, it seems to be like an actor's headshot. I you wish you had more neck. The reason why it's so important as a model to really show the length of your neck is because that's what separates you from... Why is she wearing contact lenses picture. in that one? Models are, tend to be longer and more elegant. But I was actually laying down on the ground. So You have to learn how to lay down on the ground and get some neck. Sarah, the look in your eye, it's just very kind of nice. You need to have a little bit more strength. You're so much more beautiful in person than you are in that photograph. And you have to remember that. But they that pick these photos, don't forget, as well. The half smile is making your face look a little crooked. Like I have a wisdom tooth. I have yeah. like a bad wisdom tooth here. Janice would know about that, Hi. wouldn't she? Hey, Katie. Okay, just mess it up. Yeah, there's mess something that you do. Yeah, I always hair. say this about her. Oh, mess it up. Yeah. Punk it up, oh, girls. Mess it up. There you go. That's so much better. Thank you. I think you just need to be stronger or more innocent. The reaction that he got from you is sort of like scared guppy. It looks very Peter Pan. Oh, it's amazing how young you really see yeah. you're 18 you years old. 13. Yeah. Really, really young. A child. Like child prostitute. April. Oh, my God. Did Janice just say that? I have to text Roly immediately. This woman is dirty. Clean the woman. I am fully gagged that Janice just said that. That is unhinged. Right. April, April girls. Pretty... Yeah. I think on that TV commercial that she shot, she was astounding. Sarah, she blew me away in the acting bit. Her photograph this week, though, was not my favorite. Shame. No. I think she's the only girl in the competition that can do real high fashion. Oh. Evil Shandai tonight. She looks kind of like a Paris Hilton wannabe. That's what I think. Joanna. Why do you think that, Janice? Body shape, I think. You know, I wouldn't want to see her in a, in, in a swimsuit. Isn't um, it weird, like with models, it's like a house? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're like, damn, totally. it's gorgeous, but the kitchen sucks. Right? <laughs> Everybody got something, I got something. Mercedes has that personality that she's fun, she's vivacious, she has a really nice energy. You know, she's not having meltdowns, you know, like someone else we know. Katie? She doesn't have enough oh, um, She doesn't have that extra something that really pulls me into wanting to know more about Katie. I want so much more out of her. I'd like her to see, like, to put maybe car grease in her hair or streak it with some pink. She's kind of the girl next door. Ew. But I think America's Next Top Model has to be, like, the girl, like, way over there. Down like the street. The, yeah. Around the corner. Exactly. <laughs> Why is she down the street she around the corner? She knows everything. I don't and like that photo. I don't want to work with someone who knows everything. I think the fashion Well, like you, like Janice. Sweet, sweet girls. And they love the diva bitches. Right. And they don't like anything in between. I'm sorry. She really is rude and aggressive but i have to say that she's beautiful and i think her drive could take her far i just want to go come on just go ah! just let go this whole control thing relax girl i think camille might be going i think it'll be katie and camille camille will go hello everybody hello there are seven of you standing in front of me but only six places only at the guillotine photos in my hands Right. And these six photos. April should get called first because she's expecting that that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Top gout. April. Yes. Correct. Keep on doing what you are doing. You really opened up today. Ooh, okay. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Joanna. Joanna. She's got gout. I said, Ioana. Congratulations. Congratulations. No comment. Mercedes. Katie. Congratulations. Nothing about her illness was mentioned this week. Shandy. Guarlier. Congratulations. Yeah. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Yeah. Three left. 
Sarah. Knew it. I knew it. I uh, prophecy. The prophecy is fulfilled. The prophecy is true. The eyes. Sometimes they don't really photograph that strongly. But in the acting challenge this, today, you and they were like, Nick. Congratulations. You're still only running towards becoming America's next top model. All right, here we go. Well, Katie and Camilla, please step forward. Dun, dun. Who's gonna go, I girls? I have one photo in my hands. And this photo represents the woman that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. I think they're going to get rid of Camille. Although Camille Katie, brings brings the drama. Sometimes the judges feel like you are a little bit too commercial. Just a too little like, bit eh. too safe. I gave you a haircut that I thought could edge you out, make you a little bit more high fashion. But you may not be emotionally ready to handle the dog-eat-dog -dog world of modeling. That was an overlaid Camille. sentence. This week with the whole acting experience, you didn't open up. But being in the entertainment no industry is about vulnerability. It's about and gaping. And nobody wants a cold-ass model on the set. Even right now, Camille, hard as nails. I'm not going to let anybody see me sweat. Because if I have to pack my bags, they'll know I didn't shed any tears for them. I didn't show any vulnerability. <gasps> Congratulations. Gags at the pageant. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. At the split second at the end there, though, I did think that Camille would bring Thanks, more Katie. entertainment according to production. Katie, being even the bum, didn't it? Being like, I just want to be. Don't tell her you rejected. No more. Oh, but yourself. at least she's safe from this ridiculousness. Bye, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she really needs a purple shampoo. I can't believe they didn't give her one. Obscene. She is loving it. Camille is like, oh, I win. Ass kicked out the show. Eighteen. I'm cut off all my hair for this. Oh, great, chilling. Go back to LA, work my ass off, get to the top on my own. Quite sad, isn't it? Oh, into the night. There she is, in the lake. Oh, which one is she? Oh, goodbye. And that's it. She's dead. <laughs> well, my lovelies, I've got some thoughts about what we have seen today, and my thoughts are mostly filled of why is my eye weeping in solidarity with Katie? I hate it. Uh. So this episode was kind of a little bit safer. Should we say safer in terms of the previous episodes that we've watched in this season? I actually think that the final challenge was probably the most fun that we've seen so far. It definitely looked like the most high budget was spent on this so far. I don't know what the next episode's involved, but definitely in that like commercial flying, high flying matrix style fighting over crisps style thing. That was like the most fun to watch. I could really see myself being involved in something like that and being like, yes, I love it girls. I do find it strange how they're trying to push this narrative onto Camille that she has to be like really emotional. Some people just aren't that emotional. They just aren't. And some people have a difficulty like tapping into that emotion. I do agree though that as she was changing the uh, the script and almost like being, she, uh, I hate to say it, but she was kind of being a bit difficult when it came to delivering her lines and also being involved with that guy at the end. Instead of kissing him, she cuddled him. And I feel like, that like you have to kind of give people what they're wanting in that scenario if we're taking this reality tv show for anything other than reality tv show you're in in like an audition you do kind of have to like not ad lib the script really mm. i suppose it would depend on how like high up you are in your career because i think some people can actually be like no they wouldn't say that here my character wouldn't do this i love the fact that april here had like this was this was april's episode she looked so drop dead gorgeous in that black jacket with like the high neck and like the makeup oh absolutely stunning it is kind of strange though how again they tried to frame it as she's too sensitive oh she no oh, she's just being too sensitive and here she won like an emotional acting challenge so Hmm. Maybe because it was season two and they weren't quite used to it. I mean, a lot of the photo shoots in season one were just basically bikini shoots. So maybe they, she had like an idea of what America's Next Top Model would be and it wouldn't be like, dangle you over a canyon girl for a photo. And maybe that's why she didn't really thrive as much. But then again, she's 18. 
Did any, were any of us thriving at 18 years old? I certainly wasn't. So my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen today in the comments box below. Goodness, I guess it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past here on the screen, my lovelies. Yes, you can. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Z Tao. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. I've had a little bit of a break from Twitch at the moment, but I will be back. I stream Mondays and Thursdays, my lovelies. The Thursday might be changing to a different day though, because I've got an opportunity that I need to work on. Uh. It is Luxaria Plays, and come and follow us over there. And once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Luke Peterson, Stephanie Niachupski, Orkos Samoji, Beebles32, Camille, Sarah, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Danny Smith, Dr. A, Jevon, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jennifer Herman, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min TM, Moisa98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Rachel the EC Biscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, Travelful Tromo and Victoria Corella. Thank you guys for your continued support here on the Chanel. If you want to join the Patreon, click the link in the description box below to find out the rewards. And with that, my lovelies, I'm going to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. And I'm also going to leave it on the notes of, if you're not an emotional person, that's all right. It's all right not to be an overly emotional person. It's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. No matter what these shows tell you about emotions. Uh, and with that, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Utterly unhinged.